competing in uh, our bunny runs, which are a series of races uh, where everybody gets cabbage cream eggs and not like the, all the prizes are chocolate, which obviously helped uh, entice kids into it. And uh, Alistair came along, um, he ran under a, a club called the Yorkshire Tykes, which isn't officially under UK rules a club, but you know, that's what sport's about. Um, and he competed, and I think he was about 157th in the race. Uh, and he came back, did another one the next Tuesday, because they're every Tuesday, uh, kept competing, came back the next year, then won the under 16s, even though he was only 13, uh, talked to Johnny into doing it, and they then took part in the Yorkshire Championships in 2001. In fact, we could just see him sprawling face down in some mud here and some pictures you, you've <laughs> brought along with you this morning. I'm sure he'll be very grateful to you for those. Um, <laughs> is it obvious, was it obvious from the start that both boys had a real sort of determination and grit? You see it in the racing yesterday. They, they really hung on in there, didn't they? Um, Alistair, definitely. Alistair has always had that guts and determination. Jonathan came from a swimming background um, and he's... He's always in the shadow of Alistair, which he quite likes, to be honest. But, uh, but Alistair is a Yorkshire animal. It's as simple as that. It's gold or nothing. Uh, people that watched it in Beijing, I mean, it was 2K to go. OK, the wheels came off. But it was, even as a 19-year-old, he was going for it hell for leather. Um, you mentioned Yorkshire. I know a lot of Yorkshire people were out and down in Hyde Park yesterday watching the race and cheering them on. What is it about Yorkshire athletes, do you think, that's meaning they're doing so well this year? Um, but all you've got to do is look at Yorkshire, the hills, the countryside, the weather that we get. Um, it breeds hardy folk and Yorkshire are very, we're very proud, proud people and, um, you know, we're a country, we could separate ourselves. If everybody moved to Yorkshire, we'd probably have more we'd be beating the Americans in the uh, Olympics. Well, there we go. That's the tip for how to get, get through Rio, perhaps. We'll move all, <laughs> all the athletes up here from all over the country. Thanks ever so much for joining us, Dave. I know a little later this morning um, we'll be meeting some of the fell runners who compete in the races alongside Alistair and uh, yep. Johnny up here on the hills above Howarth. And uh, just a, a little note and a tip here, perhaps, if you're an up-and-coming athlete, Dave tells me that the true incentive, and apparently it's one which Alistair and Johnny are very fond of, is to offer chocolate to athletes at the end of the race. I'm really liking the sound of that. Back to you. <laughs> I think they should do that.